my work comes in piece at a time through the inscriptions of the crystal lattice, and I've been working for quite some time on a 57-dimensional schematic that turned out to be our outer being. And um, we also have an inner being that's 999 to the power of seven dimensions. And our when we're holy beings, the two are, they share a common oneness, you know, and they're connected. And the inner being supplies the outer being with the knowing of, of consciousness. And But through the downfall, the outer being and the inner being got separated, so the outer being did not have knowing. And this is our human aspect. And, and the outer being is the part that you perceive in the mirror and people perceive you to be. And, um, and it's a being of belief, uh, which is really nothing more than um, a programming of outer world authority because it has no knowing of its inner holiness. It's been separated from it. And, um, and so the problem with this is that um, our consciousness in the human condition is about belief. And when belief is the consciousness, it integrates the flesh um, and it has a decaying effect on it. And it's why people grow old, get sick and die is because their flesh is integrated with belief. And, um, you know, belief is a good definition. It's an opinion with conviction about what you don't know. And they're programmed into you from authority figures. And, and, uh, and it's the moralization of belief that's actually the origin of war. And, and so um, there's lots of problems with this. But through the ascension process, we've now reached the point that the outer being is becoming reintegrated with its inner being. And this uh, thing of consciousness of knowing is actually the summation of the holy temples from celestial and planetary bodies that your inner being is connected to. And uh, when a person is fully conscious, they're connected to all that is. And it's through these interconnections, it makes an incredible web that can be surfed with uh, sharing our common O's so that we can have the most uh, incredible intimate experience in life of feeling how we make other things feel uh, and to think it's thought so that we can share a common reality and maintain our integrity, honor, and high regard. Uh, doing otherwise makes you feel pain and nobody likes that. So we fine tune our behavior and our thoughts and feelings if we are known by others and and if you can feel how you make the earth feel when you trash it out or whatever you're not going to do that in the human condition you're disconnected from everything and you seek the long end of the stick at others expense uh, the belief you know people buy into beliefs that give them an advantage you know and so there's a dishonesty with it that uh, does not exist when a person is connected to their inner being that's connected to everything. And so it's a, it's a, a paramount thing. And, and to be um, connected to our inner holiness so that we can utilize the 276 activities of our holy O androgyne um, allows us to have the most incredible experience in life that in the human condition, you haven't experienced anything even close to it. But this is all uh, what's awaiting us as we go forth in the ascension path. And as soon as the linear timeline has been removed from the earth, which will occur in early December of this year, and we get into this new calendar of the Mayan uh, uh, lineage of the Aquarian age where the Christ matrix awaits us, it's going to radically change this world and it's going to make it much easier for people to do their ascension process. And there will be 15 paths of ascension that will present themselves for every single person on this earth is going to be in one of them. There's the very pleasant ascension path for the open-hearted that seek holiness that practice the parable of being a Christed being. And then there's other paths that are not so nice for those that uh, insist that their belief be correct. Uh, there's paths where you live the prophecy of your belief as you as ascend. And that's not so much fun if you're into Antichrist and Armageddon. 
I'm not going to that party. <laughs> but uh, that's the way it's going to be. And um, But every single person is going to ascend. Um, and if we just hold a place for everyone to awaken and ascend, it makes it much easier for all people. And to stay out of judgment about it, stay out of the head, stay out of fear. You see, uh, because fear and belief come from the ego of the human condition, belief is very allergic to fear. Uh, people get really riled up uh, through fear if they are of a belief-bound consciousness, whereas knowing is not of that circuitry and knowing knows no fear. Fear doesn't matter if you know.